In this video, we will learn the completion of square technique to solve the quadratic equation. Let us take an example. Suppose you have a quadratic equation as x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. And we have to solve it by completion of square. So the first thing which we need to check is that the coefficient of x square should be 1. In this particular case, the coefficient is anyways 1. So we don't have to do anything. The second step is to take or to move the constant term to the right hand side. Okay, so we have x square plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. We move the constant term to the right hand side. Now, the third thing is check the <coughs> sign of the coefficient of x. So, in our case, the coefficient of x is plus 4. What is the sign here? Plus. Okay. If <coughs> If the coefficient of x is positive, then we will form x plus a whole square and if it's negative, then we will form the square of the form x minus a whole square. Now we actually have to form the square by adding or subtracting the terms from both the sides. Let us see how do we do it. So the equation which we have with us is x square plus 4x is equal to 5. We leave some space here to fill in the extra term which will help in completing the square. Okay. Now we need to fill in some term here. And whatever is the term which we are filling here, the same term has to be filled in here to maintain the balance of the equation. Correct? So, our aim is to find out this term. So, <clears throat> we will equate x square plus 4x plus that unknown term is equal to, since the coefficient is positive here, we will equate it to x plus a the whole square. When we expand x plus a whole square, we get x square plus 2ax plus a square. And now we will equate the corresponding coefficients. So when we equate the coefficients, we see that 4 which is the coefficient of x on the left hand side should be equal to 2a which is the coefficient on the right hand side. So from here we get a as 2. Okay, and the constant terms on both the sides should be equal. So, the constant term on the left hand side is we don't know and that is equal to a square. The value of a is 2. This means that this term is nothing but 2 square which is 4. Okay, so this value here is figured out as 4. So, if we are adding a 4 on the left hand side, the same thing needs to be added to the right hand side also. Okay, so our equation now becomes x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 9. And what is this x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to? It is equal to x plus a whole square and a is nothing but a is 2. So, x square plus 4x plus 4 can be written as x plus 2 whole square equal to 9. So, from here we get x plus 2 as either positive 3 or x plus 2 as negative 3. Yeah, so one value of x from here is x is equal to 1 and from here we get x is equal to negative 5. These are the two solutions of this equation. x is 1 and x is negative 5. 
okay so this technique is called the completion of square technique now let us take one more example in which the coefficient of x is not 1 say x square plus 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 so the first step make the coefficient of x square 1 To make the coefficient 1, we have to divide <coughs> both the sides by 2. So, we get x square plus 3 by 2x minus 1 equal to 0. What's our second step? The second step is to move the constants to the right hand side. Move the constant to RHS. When the constant is moved, what equation do we get? x square plus 3 by 2x is equal to positive 1. What is the third step? Third step is to check, check the sign of coefficient of x. So, we have x square plus 3 by 2x is equal to 1. The coefficient is 3 by 2 and it's positive. So, we will equate x square plus 3 by 2x plus we need something to complete the square. That should be equal to x plus a the whole square. We expand x plus a whole square, x square plus 2ax plus a square and here we get x square plus 3 by 2x plus something. So, 3 by 2 is equal to 2a or this implies a is equal to 3 by 4. So, what are we seeing? How are we obtaining a? Every time we are obtaining a by dividing the coefficient of x by, by 2. a is obtained by dividing the coefficient of x by 2. So, when 3 by 2 is divided by 2, we get a 3 by 4. So, we can write it as x square plus 3 by 2x plus a is nothing but the coefficient of x divided by 2. So, it is 3 by 4 square. Fine. This is equal to 1. Fine. 1 plus 3 by 4 the whole square. Whatever we are adding on the left hand side, the same needs to be added to the right hand side. So, this becomes x plus 3 by 2. 3 by 4 the whole square is equal to 1 plus 9 by 16 which is 25 over 16. So, x plus 3 by 4 has got two value. One is positive 5 by 4 which is square root of 25 by 16 and the other value will be negative 5 by 4. So, from here x comes as 2 by 4 which is 1 over 2 and from here x comes as negative 8 by 4 which is negative 2. So, we are able to find two values of x which are the solutions of our given equation by completion of square technique. Okay. I hope this much is clear to everyone. So, if you have any doubts regarding completion of square technique, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Math Academy at the link given below for more such videos. Thank you.